Hello and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna do something different. If you follow my channel, you know that I look at the technical side of things. We go into the code, we explain the code, and I do demonstrations on it. But today's video, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take a look at something ServiceNow give us for free called Now Create. So what is now create and why should you care? So we all know that ServiceNow are fantastic at giving us resources in order to help us with our jobs. We all participate in the community and we help each other. But ServiceNow are really good at doing that from a, from a business point of view as well, right? So now create is a fantastic uh, library of assets or resource that we as individuals within the ServiceNow community can get our hands on. And it's absolutely free. Having said that, if you want to give me some money to access it, feel free to go ahead. But it is free, right? Anyone can access this. To put it simply, NowCrate is a website which, if you've got access to Now Learning or the community, you've got a ServiceNow login, is what I'm saying. You can access this website and it kind of gives you um, methodologies for implementation, upgrades, enhancements, you know, all those kind of projects. And it's got assets within those. So you've got things like KPI guidance, process and operating models, workshop and discovery presentations, which are awesome, by the way. You've even got starter stories and test cases. Again, I've used those multiple times when I'm doing um, perhaps an implementation project. Why wouldn't you start there? Why would you waste your time creating starter stories and, and even worse, creating test cases that no one ever wants to do? It's got things like architectural blueprints. It's also got things like training guides as well. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's, it's a plethora of artifacts that we can get our hands on. And it's not just for project managers. Us as techies can sit back and go, you know, I'm not bothered whether it's got starter stories. I don't care. Well, to be honest with you, when I start an implementation project or if I'm doing an upgrade or an enhancement to something like the incident module or problem module, it's a really good starting point for any project to go into now create and search for these artifacts and, and see what you can reuse because why should we and why do you need to bother reinventing the wheel i think the phrase um if it's already out there for us to use and all of those kind of artifacts combine to what they deem as a success pack okay so let's have a quick look right i've got it on screen so in here we can on, this is now create and i'll drop the um the url in the description so don't worry about that but here we can learn about the uh, methodology so what's the product uh, project delivery methodology we can search for a success pack now i've already mentioned this this is all the artifacts combined is called a success pack it's kind of what service now is saying these are the things you'll need to be successful and we can go into it we can look at this what is a success pack it's a collection of processes and assets that blah -de blah -de blah um you know but you can do this yourself i'm not going to take take you through every single step we can search for an asset what is an asset well i've mentioned these before it's an input um to the methodology so it could be something like a process and operating model or um uh, some starter stories let's start off let's search for a success pack and i'm going to try and do this quite quick because i realize i'm not showing any cody stuff it's not overly interesting but i want you to get the point so we've gone into success um packs Let's look for a story. Um, story? Let's look for an implementation. So we go product suite. Let's have a look at customer service management. Let's look at that. Maximize agent productivity. Modern, uh, right, modernize customer service. Let's have a look at that. And we can open the success pack. And this gives us, this, this kind of plots it on ServiceNow's delivery methodology. And each one of these, it gets better it gets better just wait each one of these you can drill into so if let's pick design build and unit testing in the plan let's go conduct process workshops you can drill into these prepare it tells you what to do conduct see more let's click on it see more you know who needs to be involved how inputs what inputs have we got well here are the starter stories okay outputs and this is the outputs of that process into the product backlog so i guess that that brings us to another question is who is now create aimed at i would say anyone anyone in the service now ecosystem 
Um, you don't have to be, yeah, to be fair, you don't even have to be a ServiceNow customer yet. You can be just looking at ServiceNow and deciding whether it's something you want to buy over and above the others. Well, this is another great um, point for sale, right? This is another great advantage of ServiceNow. It's giving you this for free. So it can be for project managers that are looking to say, hey, what's the delivery methodology? What artifacts do I need in which phase? It can be for a technical resource that can say, hey, what are the testing um, scenarios for these stories? Um, even to the point of, let's say we, we've all been there. We're doing a project where perhaps you haven't been on formal service now training for. So take field service management, for example. You may um, be asked to do um, some stories on field service management that haven't been through the formal training. You can actually go to the process diagrams here, the process um, presentations, and you get a feel for um, how the processes fit together from a ServiceNow point of view. It doesn't give you technical documentation on how you do this, but from a process point of view, which is a large part of our job, it certainly gives us the information there. So this is what we call a success pack, which you've already decided is a collection of all the artifacts. So let me just go back to the homepage. Now let's have a look for an asset. So this is me as a technical person. This is what I tend to do is I tend to look for assets because I know what I'm looking for. I don't really um, spend much time looking at the whole overall project picture, if that makes sense. So I'll come in and look for a particular asset. So for example, we can look for asset type, so product specific. What's the project type we're doing? Um, let's do implementation again. What's the work stream we're doing? So maybe it might be build, okay? And what's the suite? What's the product suite? So let's pick, let's pick field service management, okay? So we go in there. So we can look at contractor management. So perhaps I've done the field service um, management course and I don't really remember too much about contractor management. So I can look at the view asset. I can look in here and it gives me an overview. So I can scroll down here, can look at what I'm about to download. It's really useful process objectives, roles and responsibilities, kind of contract management lifecycle. And I can download that if I want to as well. Okay. So we've taken a brief look at um, NowCrate. We, we've talked about who it's used for. We've talked about what we might find there, some of the documentations. We've even navigated a little bit about it. Um, there is an additional thing I just want to mention that if you want to um, learn more about now create because I realize this is really brief and I'm talking super super fast because I I'm conscious that we've all got an attention span when it comes to my waffle right if you head over to now learning there are two courses um, that you can do and they don't take long at all one's 20 minutes one's 10 minutes this one is get started with now create now, this is a great start. It's kind of just going to go over what I've just done, but in a more formal, proper way, because I realize, again, I waffle, right? So if you want to do this one, it's going to take about 20 minutes. If you're a partner, I'd recommend you do this anyway, because points mean prizes, right? It all adds to the uh, partner score. There is another one. I believe it's around um, roles. So it's aimed at specific roles uh, for NowCrate. However, at the time that I was looking at this, it's only geared towards project management. So if you're a techie like me, do it by all means, and it'll kind of step you through that screen I showed you before, the success pack and the project phases. Um, to be honest, from a techie point of view, it does get boring, but it is worth it. It's only 10 minutes of our lives, right? So for 30 minutes, you can learn all about NowCrate. And if I'm being honest, guys, you'll never look back. Valuable resource. Use it. Um, I was going to say use it, abuse it. Don't do that. But use it and hopefully it'll help you out in uh, many projects to come. Okay, so I hope you found this useful, guys. Really appreciate you sticking around me till the end if you've made it this far. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It makes a massive difference. If you have subscribed, please hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos just like this one. Until the next time, happy coding or um, learning with um, NowCrate. Speak soon.